Hi, Steve Scaysbrook. I thought I'd have a quick look this morning at the difference between screen plane and layer plane. Now, as you can see in this version, I'm on 2013 here, that um, I have got a default set as I load up a new sheet to layer plane. And I've locked it because that's all I work in. Now, I, in the old days, only used to work in 2D. And that was fine for me. But as I go into the more complex areas of 3D, I suddenly found that I was having a problem because either I was drawing in 2D and expecting it to be 3D. Let me explain. Let's go back out of this. Let's go down here into the options and just look at screen plane only. Because here, if I draw a little box, and then go up to the um, isometric tools, and I do a left isometric, nothing happens. Because the object I've drawn is in 2D. So how can it show a 3D model from a 2D? It can't. I could, if I wanted to, go up to there with the, the symbol highlighted, go to the object information palette, and just change it to layer plane, and if I go back up to that palette and do left eye section again, you can see it's now showing in 3D mode. And if I set the working plane to that and then go to the push-pull tool, I can draw it up and I can create a model. So for a quick and easy, if you've forgotten and you realise it at the time, you can actually do this and change it. But what happens if you've been drawing for some time and for some reason, and it does happen to me, you suddenly find yourself you're in screen mode rather than layer plane mode. And you have to go and change things and you can't remember what they are. Well, if you look at my, my 2013 tools, I've got two little objects here called objects to layer plane and objects to screen plane. Now you can find these little plugins, and let's just swiftly go over to um, the Vector Depot site. Now you have to go into plugins and it's the older plugins that you want and it's one called plain mode and these are two little plugins you can download and then show if you go back to 2013 you can actually put these into your menu bar and then you can then change everything now let me just show you an example of this as i open up say one i did some time ago and as you can see this was ver oh, this is version 2009 so let's go and load this up and convert it into 2013 it happens to be an extension i did quite a while ago to a terraced house end of terraced house and we put a nice extension on the one side but if you look at any of the items in there it's screen plane now you might think i could just go and change it over but there are all sorts of things mixed up in here that I have it just won't handle it. And I've got to go and try and find out or do item by item, change them over to layer plane. And that's not really what you want to do. So the benefit of having these two little tools in is that you can change everything selected to layer plane. So let's do it the easy way. Let's go and select all. Go up to Tools and just change the objects to Layer Plane. And it's as simple as that. So if I go out to there, it's Layer Plane. If I go onto the Wall 9 tool, it's Layer Plane. In fact, everything on there, if I choose it, it's Layer Plane. So it's a quick and easy way to do it. Now I've trusted this out on 2013, 2012 and 2011 and it works absolutely fine. So. I would suggest that you um, do two things. Go up to the Vector Depot site and download it and install it. And the second thing is that create a sheet, and I'll just get rid of this for a change, we don't need that. Create a new sheet, select the options in 2013, and just put the plane mode and put it to working plane only. OK, I don't want screen plane or working plane and I don't want screen plane only. I want it to be that which says layer plane only when you put in your activate. So anything you draw 
will be in layer plane. Now, let's just have a look and see what happens if the two are getting mixed up. Because if I highlight this, you can see it's layer plane. Let's put that to screen plane. And then, then just put up there and let's do left isometric again. You can see one is actually in 3D and one's just sitting there. So it's it can cause you problems when you think you're in 3D and you're drawing away. And all of a sudden, you got things which aren't really going to be um, in 3D. Now, you could actually do that and put the two together. So it's not the end of the world, but you should try and do it properly, and that's draw all in layer plane. I hope this is not uh, too confusing, and it's my effort to try and um, it's my effort to try and show the difference between screen plane and layer plane and make it easy to understand. Hope this works. Cheers.